another creator tried to come after me, but I'm here with receipts. So she has a class. It's a 40 hour class where she's going to teach you how to use your gifts. It costs $3,000, but you sign this parasite thing. What you're talking about is basically the code of conduct, that parasite agreement thing. That's the code of conduct for my academy. Every responsible academy learning environment has a code of conduct to ensure all the participants are safe. All the participants have the opportunity to learn at the highest degree of potentiality. In that parasite thingy, it gives them the list of symptoms that they look for to ensure that they haven't been exposed and they are responsible to report that, at which point I work with them. Unless of course they choose to hide it and be immoral about it. Let me go ahead and show you some of the components of that parasite agreement thingy. And even when someone chooses to be unethical and hide a circumstance that affects everyone in class, the moment I, the instructor and founder of the academy, becomes aware, they still receive a warning. Yes, very firm. Sometimes it's necessary to even be stern, but they get warned and an opportunity to correct their behaviors and begin considering the health and safety of everyone participating. Saying that if you have a parasite, she can kick you out the class. Well, she kicks everyone out, apparently, right? Day one. Actually, you're wrong again. It's laid out in the parasitic agreement thingy. Um, there's an independent review board. I'm not part of the decision making. The moment someone has violated those boundaries with other people in the program, what ends up happening is I send them all their documents, all the policy procedure, everything that has a signature, as well as every single detail with no emotions attached, I send all of that to the independent review board. They make a decision without me. It's a multi-member board and their decision must be unanimous. So unfortunately, you're wrong again. At, but only after charging the money to remove the parasite and then saying, mm, sorry, the parasite can't be removed. So for the protection of the whole community, you're out. I'm kind of wondering if you're getting your information from someone who's actually breached with something demonic and it's infected you. I'm not sure. I haven't treated you, so I can't say. But um, if you see on this overlay... Not only did the person, this is just an example, a person paid for one extraction, but because they're a student of mine and I wanted so badly for them to continue in my program, I went ahead and I did four. And every single time they did not maintain their auric field. How could that be safe for all the other participants in a very energetically charged space? I think your expectations are a bit unreasonable and irresponsible. And you can't have contact with anyone else. She also has a sanctuary where she charges $111 a month for these meetings, right? So the sanctuary is actually not a meeting place. Um, we don't have meetings there. That's actually my virtual church. And the $111, that's the highest tier of recurring contribution. They're donations from congregation members. Yeah. So I don't know if no one informed you, but that's the highest level of contribution. Um, it ranges. There's various tiers of recurring contribution for the church. As low as $15. I'm very lucky. Quite a few members of my congregation are very generous with the community, opting for the $111 recurring contribution. I'm very, very grateful for them and their presence, right along with everyone else who does recurring contributions and supports our church with their presence, supports with shares, with love, not just people who give money, but the entire community. I wish you would have been better informed before you publicly stated things as though they were fact when they're not. On top of um, expedites, where she does all this energy work, she's working for something very dark and she exploits every one of her clients in a very severe way. I'm not gonna say her name because I already know what she will do if I say her name, but I want you guys, 
to be very careful with these spiritual. You're speaking very passionately and you appear to be very concerned, but I don't know if I'm different. If I was really concerned rather than just speaking, I would get facts first. I would look for actual material fact before I jumped off the handlebars and began accusing a complete stranger that I've never, ever, ever interacted with of such heinous things so publicly, which leaves me to wonder, why did you even say all these things when we don't know each other? If you are looking for a spiritual community, mine is free. We have family meetings every two weeks. They are free. If you need to learn how to use your gifts, I will help you. I will help you, all right? I do some of that on live, but I have courses that don't cost nearly that much, and it is powerful help. Gotcha. I get it now.